Okay, this is a very interesting chart. Here we have number of units of a certain device, device D, in use by version. So this is how many units were in use, not anything about produced or sold or anything. These were being used. And it says this is by version. So we see here on the legend, versions 1 through 5 are talked about. All of these are versions of the same device. And we can read this number of units, these units that are talked about on the y-axis. Now we need to understand what x-axis is. So we'll see this is as of the beginning of June 2012. This is what is written as this 6 by 12. So this is a beginning of June 2012. And then the same way we can actually read the others, but it will talk about that. You see June 2006 is this one, June 2010 is this one. So all of these are Junes really because we always see this 6 as the first number and then you just have the year. This is 2006, then 2007, 8, 9 till 12. That's what's happening. Now what is this all about? So as of the beginning of 2012 June, device D was available in five versions. Version 1 became available at the beginning of 2006. June. So version 1, when I see it on the legend, it's this gray section. And when you really see the, the graph for that, the gray section is this one. And it says that version 1 became available at the beginning of June 2006, which is this first element, the first label on the x-axis. So how do you really connect beginning? You can see that your gray section actually starts from this mark. So it seems as if the place where a section starts coming, that is where that version became available. Let's still read further and see if that's what's given. So version 1 became available here and a new version became available at the beginning beginning of each subsequent June. So let's see that. Yes, the gray section began here. Then this dark blue section began in 2007. And what's dark blue? See the legend. That's version 2. Then again, the next year, you have yet another section. This is version 3, according to the legend. And then again, you see another beginning, the light blue part, which is for version 4. And then 2010 is where version 5 also became available. And that's what it really tells us here. Version 5 became available beginning June 2010. So every time that a new color has come on the graph, that's where that particular version became available. And the colors we can see on the legend. Simple. So that actually I can make an inference that no new versions were introduced in uh, 2011 June. I cannot see any new color coming. Anyway, we're only talking about these five versions. Now, the units are here. So that's also another example, they say. So at the beginning of June 2008, if you read, where is that? This one. At the beginning of this, there were 10,000 units of device D in total. So how are you really reading that 10,000? Observe that 10,000 is this point, which is the tip of the graph at this point, the highest point on the graph. This is all of the devices and you can see clearly it's the dark blue and the gray section, which means it's both versions one and two. Total 10,000 units were sold. Then it goes on to say 5,000 of these were version one and 5,000 approx version two. And again, this is something we can see here because the half point here where the gray section is ending, that's really the middle of this first unit. So it is like both of them are half and half. These are both 5,000 and 5,000 each from here. If you found the analysis of this data set helpful, then hit that like button so that other GMAT aspirants can also learn from it. And to stay tuned with such content, hit the subscribe button below. Now, to take your learning to the next level, we have put together a free trial in which you can experience content in all the sections tested on GMAT Focus Edition. For example, you can build your CR pre-thinking skills, you can learn how to approach statistics questions in graphics interpretation as part of DI, you can learn everything about linear inequalities as tested on the GMAT Focus Edition and a lot of other content. The link for this is in the description. Now, let's get back to the question at hand. Okay, so now that we completely understand how to read this very interesting chart and so much text, let's really read the question. During the first calendar year, throughout which the graph suggests a decrease over time in the number of devices in use of version dash. Okay, so you're talking about the very first time that this happens, the very first year throughout which graph will show a decrease in number of devices of a certain version. Choices are 1, 2, 3, 4. During this particular year, version dash, another set of choices, became available. So you are talking about which year. This is the first such year 
So even if something like this happens later, we don't want that. It's the first such year where version X, if I call this one X, version X use decreased. And this is the same year where version Y, if it's this one, let me write this again, where version Y became available. So we have to find a single year where both of these things happen. A certain version should be going down and another should be just starting. At this point, let me ask you this. Could you have arrived at the approach of solving this question with this level of clarity had you not spent the effort in thoroughly understanding the information presented? Such is the power of the process of owning the data set. And because this skill may not come naturally to many of you, we have created a course architecture that ensures that we teach you this skill through every guided quiz in the EGMAT DI course and we reinforce the same in every practice quiz. In fact, the way we applied translate process skills so comfortably in this question, in the EGMAT course, you will learn how to build this translate process skill through purpose-built exercises. Thus, throughout the DI course, through around 500 questions, you will learn such process skills so that you can also comfortably use the owning the data set approach. Let's now get back to the solution at hand. So let's clear this off here and really try to find this. Okay, so first job for us is to find this version which is decreasing. So how would a decrease be shown here? See, the number of units used are shown on the y-axis and a decrease means it should come lower vertically. That's what will show fewer number of units, right? So if I look at the dark gray section, which is version one, it always just keeps moving up. But when I see the very next one, this version two, this dark blue section, I do see that from this point on, there is a dip and it actually keeps decreasing after this all the way till June 2012. This means it is version two, which decreases throughout the duration. Let me still check the others. If I look at version 3, this is not decreasing. It's a very slow increase. Version 4 also is increasing. It's going upward and version 5 also is increasing. That means anyway, the only version which is ever showing a decrease is version 2. And so this X that I had, this is 2. And that actually gives me the answer for the first blank already. Now let's understand again. We are talking about the calendar year throughout which X shows a decrease now that you know it's X. So if I look at the first time that this decrease happened, then I can see it was the beginning of June 2009 after which the dip happened. But then this means it's not the entire calendar year of 2009 because that starts where? In Jan 2009. Next year then when you see, you notice that 2010, which will begin somewhere here, this is where January will be, and it will go sometime till here when December 2010 will come. Throughout this period, observe that version two is still on a decline. In fact, we know it's always, always declining, right? And specifically looking at this part. So this first calendar year that we were talking about is 2010. And during this entire year, version two was on the decline. Now, the second blank, during this year, during this year, version Y became available. So in 2010, if you see the duration, which is the version which became available? The only version that became available here was version five. Version four would already have come here in June 2009. So it's not like it became available in the calendar year 2010. Therefore, it's version five, which became available in this calendar year. And that's it. So we observe how easy answering the final question was once we understood everything nicely. All of this text, when we understood it along with the graph given here, we could make sense of the information here. And the translation here of the question stemmed. This was very, very important. Every word here mattered. You're talking about the first calendar year throughout which you saw a decrease. If somebody does not interpret this correctly, then they would just feel that, oh, it's June 2009, where the first time version 2 sees a decrease and which is the version which becomes available there version 4 becomes available and because of that you might end up marking 4 for the second blank and get this question wrong so every single word is important translate very very carefully okay